Hello everyone, so welcome back to the channel. This one is all about shoes. I was thinking about this the other day, you know, as runners we get through a huge amount of shoes and of the 22 billion shoes that are made each year, 90% don't get recycled. So in this one I'm going to have a think about how we can get more out of our shoes to try and firstly save ourselves a bit of money, but also lessen our impact on the environment. So here we go. So it's quite a set of trip hazards that we've got at our front door and doubly so because there's two of us who run in our household. This pair over here, so A6 Gel Excite 7s, these I've got 638 miles out of, but now I'm using them for walking mainly. So the cushioning isn't quite enough to support you for running, but it's fine for, for walking around. So in fact, I used these last week when I was filming the Maverick West Sussex race, because I ran for a couple of miles filming people, but was mainly walking around. So yeah, that is one thing you can do with your running shoes. You know, once they, they don't quite support you enough for running, if they work for walking, then that's a good way to kind of, you know, get greater longevity out of them. And then we've got a couple of pairs I'm gonna pick out to repair today. So over here, we've got the Hoka Speedgoat 4s and as you can see the upper has got a tear in it there and also on the other side they've done about 550 miles and actually the the sole is fine on them uh, I think you could probably get another two three hundred miles so I'm gonna repair the upper today and gonna do the same with the Brooks Caldera 5s here so with the Brooks I've got 770 miles out of these so again we'll repair that one and then see if I can get some, some more out of them. And in case you're wondering what pair out of all of these has got the most miles in it, it is these ones here. So Carla's Socony Omni 19, 960 miles in those. And they don't look too bad at all, actually. Yeah, considering. So the other day I finished a run and I posted it up on Strava. Uh, I wrote on there too that I'd done it in my Speedgoat 4s but also that I thought that my Speedgoat 4s were probably getting towards the end of their shoe life because the upper had started to split. And my friend Dan commented on that and he said, oh, well, do you know about Pair Ups? And Pair Ups is basically this group which send out packets like this, which have a kit in that allows you to repair your shoes. You can order these off eBay. They have a large one and a small one. So I got the, the large one because I knew I was gonna repair a couple of pairs of shoes. Right, so let's have a look at what we've got in our Pair Ups box. So yeah, one of the things they send you firstly is a piece of paper with instructions on. So you've got some instructions there. And then we've got the KT tape. So I've got two different colors here, got green and got black. And this is what we're gonna be sticking on the uppers to do the repair. And then of course, we've got the glue to stick those on. We've got the brush, which we've used before to get off the dirt off the shoes. And then also this, which allows you to put pressure on the KT tape once you've stuck it down so you don't get your fingers all gluey as well. So Carla is doing the repair on the Hoka Speedgoat 4s and I'm repairing the Brooks Caldera 5s. And just to be clear, I haven't not bought new shoes, but the idea here is by doing the repairs on these uppers, I'm extending the shoe life of both of these pairs of shoes. And that means that I won't have to replace my new trail shoes as quickly. So with the Brooks Caldera 5s, I'll keep those in my rotation, probably doing maybe up to one hour easy runs in them because the sole isn't quite as cushy as it was after over 700 miles. And then with the Hoka Speed Goats, I'm thinking, you know, probably up to two hour runs with those, the sole's a bit better but I'll see how I go with them. And then once both of these pairs finally come to the end of their shoe life and they, they can't be used anymore once the sole goes too, then my plan is to recycle them. So I'll put them in my local running shop. They've got like a, a bin that you can put shoes into and they can recycle the materials. Um, or in the case where you put shoes in there that uh, are able to be used again, then they pass them on to people uh, who could use them. So those were our repairs on the Brooks Caldera 5s and the Hoka Speedgoat 4s. Let me know below how many extra miles do you think I'm now going to get out of these shoes with the repairs? And I'll keep you updated, I'll let you know. I'm also going to post the link to pair ups down below, so in case anyone wants to order one of their kits, then you can do.